Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for being here. Thanks for tuning in. Today we have a good one for you guys. We're taking a look at the Backfire Hammer Sledge. This board is definitely one of a kind. I have to say that I'm very impressed with the craftsmanship, the build, and what Backfire has done with this board. So without further ado, let's get into it. First off, I have to say great packaging. Inside we have some stickers. We have your Backfire headlights, 300 lumens. We have some extra belts. We have your mud guards that go around the wheels. We have your five amp charger, which will charge the board in about four to five hours from zero to 100%. A couple extra accessories. We have your T-tool, extra bolts. We have your Allen wrenches and Allen keys. We have your wire, USB-C wire to charge the remote and we have the remote itself. We also have a handle to help carry the board around. All right, let's talk about the deck style. The board is fiberglass and maple. It has a couple different layers of fiberglass. Also this UV layer. This is a very comfortable deck. I was impressed with the board. The flexibility is awesome. It's not too loose, it's not too tight. There is a nice concave to the deck and then a slight drop down, which keeps your feet in place, especially at higher speeds, off-road, anything like that. All right, the battery comes with a polymer, 18.5 amp hour, 820 watt hour battery, you can expect around 31 miles in range. All right, let's talk about the motors this board comes with. They are 6370 outer rotor belt motors produced by Hobbywing. They are 1600 watts a piece. That is plenty of power. Now I have to say, I was very impressed when I seen the remote for this board. Even the weight of the remote, you can tell it's not cheaply made. Now the remote has some pretty cool features the 1.5 inch LCD screen, which is very vibrant and colorful. When you switch in between different speed modes, it's also color coordinated. So light blue is your eco, the darker royal blue is your sports mode, and then red is, of course, turbo mode. And the top speed for this board is around 31 miles an hour. It has this aluminum alloy shell and a plastic backing, so that way you don't mess with the frequency from the remote to the board, which is very smart. The remote also has a cool feature with a fingerprint unlock. Now Backfire has designed their own ESC for this board. It is a B ESC and it's very responsive and smooth, especially when it comes to braking and acceleration. So that is definitely five stars right there. As Soon as I hopped on the board, I just felt right at home. Let's take a look at the wheels for this board. They went with the 160 millimeter pneumatic rubber tires and the grip for these tires are very, very soft and grippy. Over the wheels, you have these mud flaps, which at first I didn't really like and you have to assemble them yourself. They don't come um, installed on the board out of the box, which is fine, but I, don't, I didn't think I was going to be a fan of them, but I actually got to ride this board in the rain and it was a lifesaver. My jeans were completely dry when I got back to the house. So honestly, I fell in love with the mud flaps after that. And I think that they definitely have their place and I think it's a great addition. So awesome job there, Backfire. Absolutely love them. Pretty cool feature as well with the board. It comes with its own headlights. It has backfire written on the outer shell of the light. These lights are 300 lumens, and I think they're a great addition. All right, let's talk about the trucks. Now, I am not a big fan of DKP, double kingpin trucks. I think they're just a little bit too loose and wobbly for me. Um, I'm more of a downhill style rider. I love speed, so when I'm deciding what I want for a truck setup, it's typically a traditional kingpin or a reverse kingpin. But I will say these double kingpin trucks are very comfortable, carvy, and they weren't too wobbly. I did have to tighten them down with the T-tool, compress those bushings a little bit, and it gave me a little bit more stability and confidence at higher speeds. Also about the trucks, 
they are 10 inches wide with a 10 millimeter axle and yes this board is just very comfortable when it comes to the feel of the pneumatic wheels mixed in with the flexibility of the deck it just really feels like you're riding in a cadillac that's really how i can describe this board it's like the batmobile and a cadillac you know mixed into one <laughs> Now, uh, Backfire, they did not send me the uh, spoiler. Also, the side plates where you can extend the width of the board and also take away the flexibility of the board. Also, this board is capable of four-wheel drive. Now, this is the two-wheel drive version. So my final thoughts on this board, it is absolutely five stars, and here is why. When it comes down to aesthetics, the build quality, the speed, the range, the comfort. I will say backfire. This is probably the best board you guys have built to date. The functionalities, everything about this board is just pristine. It also has the essence of a DIY board with all of the aesthetics and other things that you can switch and tweak with this board alone. That's going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you guys being here. Make sure to hit that like, subscribe button. Let me know your thoughts. And I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.